resolution adding additional prohibited activities to the list of bans for entering natural waters. Now that change needs to go before city's common council before it becomes law, which could give police the ability to issue trespassing tickets. WENY's Isabel Garcia caught up with some people spending the day at Second Dam today who believe there should be more lax laws. On a hot Thursday, it didn't take long to find people looking to cool off in Ithaca's Second Dam. The city already has a swim ban for natural waters, and now legislation adding additional banned activities is headed to Common Council. Some people say it would be just as easy to put up a sign alerting people of their own risk. They could also put a sign up that like states that if you swim here, the rangers aren't responsible for you, and then like just let it go, so then it wouldn't be their responsibility if someone died. Now the question is, well, why can't we just put up signs that say swim at your own risk? and and then let people do what they're going to do. I think in this case, it's a. Uh, I think it's because people don't understand the risk. Among alcohol, loud music, and camping, the additional bans include floating, bathing, and the big one, jumping. Ithaca Mayor Savante Myrick says the dangers are different than swimming in an ocean or lake because of the changing conditions. You could be jumping all week in the same place jumping off 30 feet of cliff wall and nothing happens. You could be jumping all summer and nothing happens. But a storm overnight brings a tree down and drops it in exactly the same place where you've been jumping and suddenly uh, we have a tragedy on our hands. Other people I spoke to at Second Dam say they just want to enjoy the natural waters responsibly. I know people have gotten hurt here before, but it's because people come here and do stupid things and they drink and then like, oh, I'm going to try doing a backflip off of this. Like, it's not likely if you just come and jump responsibly, like you're not going to get hurt. Reporting in Ithaca, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.